Hi everyone, welcome to another video and another design team project for Viva Las Vegas Stamps. This is the project that I did for the Link Up Black Hop that Viva Las Vegas is having today. And it's featuring the images of Mary Vogel Lasnik. So check out the blog to see what everybody's doing. And if you have any images that of Mary Vogel Lasnik that you have that Viva Las Vegas Stamps carries, be sure to play along and link up your project to our blog. So this is what I did today. I mean, this is a project that I did and it was sort of a happy accident of what I did. And I wanted to play with the clear resist bossing powder technique with photo paper on alcohol ink. And so it came a happy accident. And I'm going to go step by step of what I did. And what you'll need is photo paper, some alcohol ink, um, some stamps. And these are the two stamps that I'm using today for the example. Some a clear embossing pad, clear embossing powder. And for this example, I'm using the ultra high gloss clear that Viva Las Vegas stamps carries. It's a lot finer. Um, detail than UT and it's a really nice embossing powder. Umbrea black ink pad I'm using Memento, a heat gun and a baby wipe and some sprays. So what I did was I made a bunch of backgrounds with alcohol ink a few days in advance and um, I know you're not supposed to they say you're not supposed to use alcohol ink with photo paper and this is probably why but I did it anyway and then the next step is you take your images and you stamp it with the clear embossing pad and stamp on the paper and then you, you know you take your embossing powder and pour it, pour it over the image and heat set it with the heat gun and then after it cooled I um, cut the paper down this, this is the, what it looks like. I cut it down to two and a half, well, two and a half by three and a half ATC size. Then I took the brayer with the black ink pad and brayered over it because I wanted that um, clarys, wanted to do that clay resist technique. And when I did this, I was taking when I first discovered this. When I was taking the baby wipe and I wanted to wipe up the black ink that was on the embossed image okay, so I can you know, get the resist. And when I did that, I got this. You know, a lot of the um, alcohol ink came off, but as you can see, the alcohol ink was still there on the embossed image. And the alcohol ink came off with the baby wipe, baby wipe because it was fo it's photo paper. It doesn't do it on regular glossy paper. And here's another example. You can see, still, you can still see the alcohol ink underneath it. Now it is, when you, you know, take the baby wipe, it is still sticky. The paper is sticky, but when it dries, it's not as sticky. And if you see little bits of pieces here, that's fine. It just makes it more, like here, it makes it more grungy. And then I took some sprays. This is exa some examples. And I just sprayed a little bit, you know, on, I sprayed a bunch of sprays on there. And with my finger, I just wiped it, wiped it around. And if you get any on the image, you just take your baby wipe and wipe some of it off. You know, on the embossed area, you just wipe it, some of it off, and that's it. You want an image that either does has little detail as possible, or a bold, you know, a nice bold, solid image, because you don't pick up um, a lot of, with the embossing powder. You don't, you know, don't see that we emboss it. Like when the first example. I did when I was playing with it. I used the Tim Holtz um, Umbrella Man and then the clock and those were fine. They gave out nice, you know, a little bit of detail and not too bad. 
but I really want to do this technique with the Viva Las Vegas stamps. I just didn't have the right stamps at the time, and when I ordered the Mary Vaga Lasnik stamps, I thought they'd be perfect for this. And then I just stamped um, her sentiments on here, and cut them out, and glued them on, and then I took some, because they were white, I white cardstock, and I took some Distress ink, and put it on the craft mat and spritz some water and then painted it on here so it wouldn't be so white. So I hope you like my project and um, thanks for watching. Bye!